Hello, good evening, and welcome back. And here we go again. Gender neutral uniform sparks protest at Lewis Priory School. Oh my god, it's as if the vocal minority don't represent everyone. <gasps> oh, who would have guessed? But as far as I'm concerned, this is good news. And why is it good news, you might ask? We're talking about protests here. We're talking about people not liking policy. We're talking about people going against the man. Well, simply put, it means that this aggressive ideology of segregation, of forcing people to comply, is not appreciated by the people who are affected by it. It is not appreciated by people who don't want to get involved in politics. It is one of those situations where somebody who does not want to be involved in politics, they really don't care, they just want to live their life, they don't want to be affected, and yet they are. They're drawn into the culture war, they're drawn into this political battle, they're drawn into a war they don't want to be a part of. They are drafted up in a conscription they didn't even know existed. And this is an example of that. And you might think, what the hell? It's just what you can wear. It doesn't even matter. Well, <coughs> to these people it does. And as I mentioned a while ago on a comment on a Daily Mail article, somebody wrote, and I believe it was top comments at the time, my daughter wants to be a girl. What's wrong with that? And this is how, I mean, the saying would go that feminism has come full circle, but I do not believe in the horseshoe theory of extreme left and right being the same, but perhaps that's... <laughs> Me being too far on the autistic spectrum to to be able to follow feelings, and instead I'm too grounded in logic and reason. Um, you can uh, talk to my girlfriend about that if you <laughs> feel so inclined. So, here we have uh, the, the uh, ethnic minority for the lols, because uh, we all know you need that. Come on, BBC. Yeah. We know you don't actually care about what people think. You just care about their skin colour, because you're racist motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, about 150 parents and pupils have staged a protest outside of secondary school over gender-neutral uniforms. Yep, you're not allowed to express your sexuality anymore. Oh no! And the main reason for this is because they've said that... Two things then, I suppose. They've said the school said concerns had been raised over the length of girl skirts and new rules also catered for a handful of transgender pupils. So there we go. So basically, some people hadn't abided to the rules, and they thought, right, so uh, we can easily identify these people, everybody knows, so we could deal with them, deal with the offenders in question, or, hang on, I've got an idea, instead of just punishing the people responsible, how about we punish everybody instead? How has that ever gone wrong? How, how has anybody ever made a mistake by making everybody hate them? That's, that's not going to backfire at all. And would you look at this? They've got protests. And this is in East Sussex, so this is on the south coast. Lewis, strongly recommend their bonfire display. It's the largest in the world for the 5th of November, known as the 5th. Unless it's on a Sunday, then it's held on the Monday just because they're still religious. It's all about the, the holdout from the uh, English Revolution. But nonetheless, highly recommend it. And because it's something fun, every time the, the mayor, the the council, government regulations, all that shit. They try and restrict people from getting there. They're going to close roads so you can't park there. They're going to restrict bus access so you can't get there. They're going to stop trains from even running so you can't get into the city. And you can basically cycle. That's about it. You can form a whole bicycle train because isn't that fun? Because then you've got to go as slow as the slowest person, but that's just a metaphor for communism, so I understand why they like it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's just punishing everyone for, for just a few people. And transgender pupils, um, I believe the school is for 11 to 16 year olds. So, yeah, the, these people might be able to slowly decide what gender they are, quite possibly. But you could just say, wear whatever you want, as <laughs> some protesters have said. So how about, instead of making everyone wear the same thing, basically making this a prison, how about... Anybody can wear what they want. It's like, well, yeah, but then it's not uniform, because then it's not uni, because uni means one. It's like mono. You, you understand? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> sure. Huh. Oh, and, and this gentleman gets his, his face blanked. Well, either that, or it's a, it's a PewDiePie video in real life. Because <laughs> uh, these people don't, don't get theirs uh, pixelated. 
Even though it's all pixelated, it's just more pixels. Whatever. So pixelated means fewer pixels. Wrap your head around that one. <laughs> Checkmate atheists. Um, uh, right, so let's move on. Yeah, as I was saying. Um, uniform, yeah, in which case, let either person wear whatever they want to do. And then the children can work it out amongst themselves. And you might say children are mean, in which case, oh, we should have zero tolerance on bullying because that's what causes the problem. It's like, <laughs> lol, no. Zero tolerance on bullying basically means that you can bully as much as you want because if the person being bullied tries to respond, we will see that and we'll take action on them. And maybe you as well, but definitely them. Um, and that definitely won't encourage school shootings. <laughs> oh, it has. Ah, shit. But it, it's basically the whole thing. Um, I believe this was made by Blackpill, Devin Tracy, um, when he was talking about the film Office Space. He likened it to, to white people, but I, I don't care. What, whatever whatever you can draw from that, it's up to you. Um, I'd say it's mainly, it's mainly guys, personally, that basically go, okay, so, we're being bullied by this prick at school. What would we like to do? We would like to break his face, Mash him into the concrete, maybe leave him with some permanent brain damage. Sounds about right. Cool. Are we going to do that? No. That's awful. We're not going to do that. Oh, he's, he's doing that shit again. Oh, he's hiding my stuff. Oh, he's breaking my stuff. He's ripping up my stuff. He's burning my stuff. He's attacking me. He's destroying my clothes. He's flushing my face in the toilet. I'm beginning to reconsider that first conclusion I made. Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, he's hurting me, he's bruising me, he's cutting me, he's leaving me scars. He's not letting me go to class, he's not letting me go to home, he's stealing my money. Yeah, okay, that's, that's it. Fuck that shit. That's 14 things. I'm gonna act on it. And at that point, the person who's bullied goes, I've got nothing to lose, because my life is shit and not worth living. I'm either gonna commit suicide, as men do at a disproportionately high rate, or I'm gonna take it on this cunt, and anybody else who wishes to join them in. So, that's then what they do. So zero tolerance is bullshit, will never fucking work, because you don't know everything that's going on. And if you try that, you're just going to make it worse for the person that's bullied. You might then suspend them, whatever. In which case, they might still kill themselves. Oh! Or they might realise that they can't do anything about it, in which case, they might still kill themselves. Oh! Or you could stop that policy, let them actually deal with it, and then it'll be fine. It... It's, it's like the old joke that if women had gone around the world, there would be no wars, there would just be some global tiffs every few days. Same kind of thing, that what guys do, they'll fight each other, attack each other, deal with it then and there, and then they're sorted. Then they might even be friends afterwards. If a guy runs from a fight, then his, his uh, credibility will be ruined. But if he stands up, fights for himself, gets a bloody nose, and keeps going, and loses gracefully, and he's given it a fair shot, he's going to get respect. That's just how it goes. You face adversity, you don't give up, you keep going. That's respectable in every aspect of life. And guys know that instinctively, as far as I'm concerned. And therefore, they respect it. But when you have zero tolerance, all you can do is run away. Also, why the, the stand your ground policy is actually far more effective than gun. But that's just a Second Amendment argument. What do I know as a Brit? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I know the UK self-defense laws, and that's why I have swords. Yes, in the UK, I shit you not, if somebody breaks into your home, you have to tell them twice, clearly and concisely, to leave your property. Then, and only then, can you respond in force. And you can respond in disproportionate force, but not grossly disproportionate force. But... Oh, and also, guns in the UK cannot be used in self-defence. If you try, you're breaking the law. But, UK self-defence cannot use a weapon that you have for self-defence. However, if you find a weapon, you're allowed to use it. So you could say, I'm really into swords. I have some European stuff, some, some medieval stuff, some Japanese, some Chinese, some American stuff, all that. I love it, it's beautiful, it's ornate, I love the culture, it's so rich and dense. Somebody breaks in, you go, I'm going to use some of this <laughs> some of this American culture to send them away. That's fine, that's legal. That's, that's, that's not a problem at all. As long as you tell them twice to leave first. And you can't chase them because then you're taking the sword out of your property and all that. And so on and so forth. But yeah, you can still do that. Um, 
Same thing as if you're being attacked and you just happen to be in a kitchen shop and you grab a knife, you can use that to slash at them, but you can't carry a knife with you for defense. If you've just bought a knife and you're going home, somebody attacks you and you can get it out of the packaging, <laughs> good luck with that because you need a knife to retrieve the knife, um, unless you're King Arthur, <laughs> good job there, then you can use that as well. Then again, that plastic is so sharp that you could just cut them with that. Yeah, <laughs> that'd work. Uh, sorry. Anyway, back to the story. Getting off on a tangent. Um, it, it, you know, self-defense just means a lot to me. So, how are we saying? Conservative MP Lewis tweeted: "Very disturbed to see the school turning away girls from primary school because they choose to wear a skirt and calling the police on them. This is not how we should be treating the young women of Lewis. And what if guys want to wear a kilt? What then? So how come guys?" <laughs> so what's it gonna be? So guys can wear trousers and only trousers. Women can wear either, but now they're told to just also wear trousers. Yes. So gender neutral is what guys have had to wear forever anyway. <laughs> Hang on. This doesn't work for feminism. They say girls will have the skirts, but that can be solved by better policing of it. No, you're gonna always gonna have some miscreants. Um, you just need fathers present. Girls without fathers present hit puberty. Good two years earlier. Funny that. Um, now they're saying about climate change. This, it's not worth just getting a new uniform for nine months. It's not sustainable. This lady wanting choice. To be honest, I don't think she's going to have to wipe. I, no, I'm not. I'm not going there. No. Bad audience. <laughs> uh, yeah, trouser policy from 2017. Now they're just uh, bringing it in in full force. Saying I haven't bought the new uniform. It's just a waste of money. It's going to contribute to climate change as well. Even though... Climate change is, uh, well, that's for a different video. But let's just say that the Chinese aren't so fond of uh, buying our recyclable goods. And we'll leave it at that. But let's leave it with uh, the BBC's conclusion. Uh, said from the, a letter sent to parents in June, which said they'd created more problems than they wished. Oh, it's like the vision of the anointed from Thomas Sowell. It said pupils not following the new rule was detracting staff from teaching. Wow. <laughs> it's like being totalitarian means you can't get your job done properly. Oh, hang on. You mean telling people to do things that they're not actually qualified for means they're not even doing what they're qualified for as well as they were before? Like getting police to monitor hate speech? Who would have thought? Let people be free, you fuck knuckles. Anyway, that's it for me from all this shit show. And I... <laughs> oh, God. I thought I thought Manchester was bad, and you know, too near Birmingham Yardley. Even though that's further south, I know too near Merseyside then with all the stabbings in Liverpool. But yeah, this is now closer to home, where I'm from on the south coast, in Lewis. Oh dear. But anyway, yeah, that's that's it for me. Let me know what you think below. If you think, ah, well, well, these old jumpsuits are the future. Let's make them all orange as well, so then everybody's just like a prisoner. So then they're trained for a corporate office job, not questioning orders, and if they do anything wrong, they go to prison, they're going to wear the same thing from three to the day, to the day they die. Let's, <laughs> let's make some orange baby clothes as well, it'll be perfect. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think below. Always intrigued to hear what you guys have to say, and I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Goodbye.